local DJs on the radio, you know, say, Rusty Young, you know, his brother. And, uh, you know, and once that ball starts rolling, it's really hard to stop it. And, but Neil and I, we're not related. Neil does have a lot to do with Poco getting started, though, but he doesn't know it. Um, back, back when we were first putting the band in, we had our band together. But we, didn't, we couldn't rehearse at Richie's little cottage anymore because they kept calling the cops and they, they shut us down. We couldn't rehearse at Jimmy's because there, there were too many girls. <laughs> and so uh, we were really stuck and, and I went by our manager's apartment one afternoon and uh, he, he, had, he, was, he had all these airline tickets on his coffee table. You know, just back in the day when everyone had paper airline tickets before they went on. And um, apparently, well, he was the road manager for the Buffalo Springfield. And this is going to shock you, I know, but <laughs> Neil didn't always show up for his <laughs> concerts. <No. laughs> So they get to be a big surprise to the guys in the van, and uh, they'd show up at the airport, and, and Neil wouldn't. And so Dickie, Dickie Davis, would, would just throw Neil's airline ticket in his glove compartment of his little VW bug, and uh, he forgot about it. And, it. and you know, a year went by or so, and so he went out to, and just accidentally opened up his glove compartment, and in there were all these airline tickets. And he, so he brought them in, and he put them on the table. He's going, this is just so sad. Because look at all these airline tickets. They're worth thousands of dollars. And, you know, they're just go, they just go to waste. And we don't have any money to rehearse, you know, to rent a rehearsal hall, find a place to rehearse. So I, I walked over and I, I picked one of the airline tickets up. And I looked at it. And the name on the airline ticket was Initial N Young. Norman. My <laughs> first name's Norman. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really like to share that with a lot of people. But I know it. So, so this is that, you, I, you probably can't remember this because it was a long, long time ago. It used to be you could take your airline ticket if you weren't going to use it back, and they would give back your money. Mm -hmm. Really, I, it's not an urban legend. It really no, no, happened. no, I remember. And so right. we took all these Neil Young airline tickets down to the airline. And turned him in and got, I don't know, back then it was a lot of money, a couple thousand dollars probably. So we uh, were able to rent SIR, the best rehearsal place in Los Angeles, for like six months to get our band going <laughs> off the ground. So we owe it all to. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
was into, and this is, the, you know, 75, 6, something. She was really into numerology and astrology and, you know, a little witchcraft. So, <laughs> a little, little bit of witchcraft. So, uh, she came to Tim and she, and she said, Tim, if you want to be rich and famous, you've got to change your name. And, and Tim said, what? And, and, and she said, well, you know, the, numerologically, it just doesn't work out. Astro astrologically and all that kind of stuff. Um, you need to change your name to Timothy B. Schmidt. That, that, and you will be rich and famous. So Tim came to us and he said, uh, from now on, guys, uh, we used to call him Tim or Timmy, mo mostly Timmy. Um, you, from now on, you've got to call me Timothy B. Schmidt. We said, okay, Tim. And uh, <laughs> I still can't do it. I still can't call him Timothy B. Schmidt when I say, hey, Timothy B. Uh, anyway, um, so he did. He changed his name to Timothy B. Schmidt. And like six months later, Henley calls. And Tim joins the Eagles. <laughs> and divorces Noreen. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't so good at that. That's a true story, Don't tell him I told you. It's okay, she moved to Costa Rica. <laughs> Go to where the drugs are. Oh, <laughs> my Okay, I already got special permission. If any of you want to get down front, just kind of boogie with us. Got any boogie? Boog Here comes a boogie. -er. We need more boogiers. It's good to see it. Oh, there comes, there comes Ginger. It's party time.